Hi everybody, this is Henry Li. Today I am going to talk about uh, the colors used in Chinese pictures, uh, Chinese brush painting. Um, as you know, the base of uh, Chinese or Asian painting is the ink, and the uh, colors are only uh, guest of uh, the painting, not the host. However, painting uh, without color is not uh, um, colorful, you know, as uh, with color. Um, so it's, the Chinese painting is not exclusive to ink. Um, color is used always. Um, like this picture I've done uh, 20 years ago, um, the peacock painting. You can see they're very colorful, right? Uh, with uh, a background of uh, peach flowers, uh, peach blossom. Um, the peacock standing on a, a rock. And uh, if you take a closer look, you can see they're uh, very colorful. The Chinese painting colors is different from the regular Western watercolor um, in three different uh, aspects. First, uh, because the Chinese uh, painting is done on absorbent rice paper, uh, if you use the uh, watercolor paper, is, which is not absorbent, it won't create the uh, effect desired. Uh, however, since the paper, the nature of the rice paper, you need to stretch or mount after painting. And like the Western watercolor, you stretch it before painting. So um, it will not. You, you don't have to worry about the color bleed or rain during the mounting, uh, wet mounting, especially uh, in Chinese painting. So the color we use is very different with different uh, binding glue uh, than the uh, Western watercolor paints. These colors are more stable on rice paper when you mount especially during the wet mountain. This is a, the major difference. The binding material is different than the Western watercolor. The other difference is the uh, material, the source material, uh, is made of. The Chinese painting paints are divided into two groups. Um, based on what uh, natural material they use, the plant color or mineral color. The plant color or vegetable color is made of uh, natural dyes, and the mineral color colors are made of uh, mineral uh, or stone kind of uh, materials. They are uh, accordingly um, transparent with uh, plant colors or um, vegetable colors and uh, opaque with mineral colors. Uh, for example, the uh, mineral green or blue color um, is opaque and uh, you have to use a special way to apply it. In this case, the green color is applied to the back of the rice paper. So you will not cover the ink effect. Sometimes we use the opacity of a mineral color, like a green or blue in this case, to cover the ink, on, on dark, even dark ink. Um, on the head of this peacock, you can see the mineral blue, which creates the lust of the feather. And also on the crown, the mineral green. This method, we call it as uh, embedding. Um, you use the color like a diamond you know, on the base of uh, ink. So in general, um, the Chinese color is more friendly with uh, ink. Um, you can apply, you know, mix well with ink or use separately um, on different side of paper. Uh, if you use Western watercolor, the color and the ink will not mix well and it tend to be muddy or dirty and because the 
binding material is different. On this uh, uh, flower background, you can see there are um, other colors, like uh, the branch are done with uh, amber, which is a semi-transparent uh, color. It's made of a, a, a red soil. Um, it's very earthy. You know, it's good to blend with ink also. And the, the flowers are done with uh, various uh, red, like rouge and uh, um, the uh, chameleon uh, red. They are mixed with the Chinese white. The calyx is done, the little stem on the, and the flower is done with the rouge and the ink on the peach flowers. And some other uh, colors are indigo blue mixed with yellow, Cambodge yellow to get green. Um, and on this uh, feather, you can see colors applied uh, on the back of the paper or on top of the ink. Um, it's very subtle, yet very rich. This picture I did on my 28th birthday, uh, I remember it as uh, almost 22 um, years ago. So to sum up, the Chinese watercolor pens are good with uh, absorbent rice paper and can be applied on both sides. Uh, it, it has uh, special ways to apply. If you use regular watercolor paper, uh, don't use them. Uh, they are not designed for non-absorbent watercolor paper. Um, and it's good to blend with ink, uh, very you know, friendly with the ink painting. And also the binding glue is uh, very stable so you can mount it without uh, worry about uh, bleeding or rain. You can get from my website at a very reasonable price. Thank you.